Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got special guest on board from Yasin, the king of the combo, baby. So, if you guys are excited for this video, I'm just gonna smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, because you're gonna witness probably one of the best decks in this format, piloted by one of the best players in the world. Also, before we get into this, I want you guys to go check out Yasin's channel down in the description below. Also, go check out tripgaming.com for the absolute most beautiful playmats you're gonna, ever gonna see. Let's go. What is good, guys? This is me again, Yasin, and not Steven. <laughs> I know, I, I keep uh, being featured on this channel. I wonder why. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Steven's channel, and then potentially go check out my own channel, Yasin656, for more combo videos, deck profile, testing video, card reviews, whatever. At this point, I basically just do anything. I'm not really focused on one kind of content. And let's get right into this Trabrigate combo, as well as deck profile. This deck is really good. Just like the other decks, I feel like this balance didn't do Jack shit. Trap Brigade literally just didn't get touched. All you really have to do to adapt is to cut the Zodiac package because without Barrage, I feel like it's not really worth it. But Tanky from go going from 3 to 1 actually changed nothing. All you have to do now is just play 3 Rescue Cat and you're pretty much good to go. This card, even if it gets Ash, you can chain Gamma and then <laughs> you basically give a hug to your opponent. Your opponent lost a hand shop, uh, you have an Omega, and then you can make your opponent lose another hand shop and you have full combo. Anyways, combo number one and the only go combo that I'm going to show you, anyways. So summon two Kit or Kit and Keras doesn't really change anything and then make the fur jet so you're going to be now using the effect of kits and nerval now you're going to be searching for the fractal special summon the fractal with the effect of fur jet banish two in order to summon the bear brum and now you're going to be linking three for link li well link four but using three months you get the point for appaloosa and then you're going to go chain link one chain link two now even if you don't care about the draw from bear and blossom fur jet it's still really important to use it on uh, chain link two and this on chain link one just generically because you want to be able to chain block this card so sometimes use like another effect that you actually don't care about you're going to be drawing a card that you're going to immediately put back on the bottom anyways but yeah it's really just to protect this card because the revolt search is what you're seriously looking for even if you draw like bad cards like driver like surplus hand traps or gamma when your opponent didn't have anything uh, it's still good because uh this this card when it gets to sent to the grave is always going to make uh, all of your cards kind of live but yeah you're going to be searching the revolt put back the the card on the bottom of the deck bottom by the way doesn't just shuffle so it's actually better because when you're drawing a lot of cards you have a zero percent chance of drawing them back but yeah during the opponent's turn revolt is going to be safe from ghost bell because we have appaloosa so this is the main reason why you really go for appaloosa it's not even because oh you just want more negates it's because you want to safely resolve revolt through any form of a uh, hand shop and yeah you're going to be linking for ominous omen and again this was properly summoned so you're going to be also able to draw during your opponent's turn which is really relevant because you can dig for hand shops obviously as long as you don't draw into like gamma or imperm which are the hand shops that you wouldn't be able to use here but if you draw something like um i don't know a veiler or ash or ghost bell well yeah you're going to be able to use the the hand shops right away and the nerval is also going to be uh, able to search so if you want to draw a hand shop and keep it you have to go chain link one fair jet and then chain link two nerval so search first and then draw so if it's a card uh, like i don't know a hand shop you you get to keep it otherwise you have to draw the card shuffle but put it back into the bottom and then search which is not necessarily ideal but yeah this is a uh, pretty good right there just with rest Rescue Cat and any other card, but whatever, let's get into the deck profile now. Okay, so this is the 42 card weird concoction that I made, the tri -Rigate. Yeah, trust me, it works. Okay, it works. I do believe that this is probably one of the best decks of the entire format. If this deck was really good before, don't expect it to get any worse this format. If anything, it might just become even better and better and better over time. Unless Konami does something drastic or, I don't know, ban revolt, probably not gonna happen. Anyway, so triple rescue gat, of course. Like I said, the only thing that's just not really worth playing anymore is the Zodiac cards. But apart from that, all the tri -Rigate monsters, you really want to play pure, I want to say. It's probably the better version. Version. Yeah, 3 Fractale, 3 Keras, 3 Nerval, 3 Kit. So just 15 monsters, still very consistent. 1 Tanky, I mean, big deal. Really doesn't change anything to my life. I, I could really care less. Uh, triple Revolt, I wouldn't really play Trap Trick at this point. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, especially when the only other trap that you play is Imperm. It's not really worth it, but yeah. Uh, 3 Desires, 1 Called by the Grave, a Triple Cross Out because we're playing billions of hand shops like Imperm, Coast Bell, Ash, Veiler, Gamma. Just look at this, man. Regardless of what 
or upon the hatch abscess floor, we always have the cross out for it, except if it's something sketched like Lancia on turn game one. Whatever, who plays freaking maybe Drytron, but yeah, even then, even then. Would I play any other hatch? Uh, probably not. I'm not a big fan of Skullmeister, DD Crew, and Phantasme right now. And Nibiru main deck is like suicidal. So like yeah, I do believe that this is absolute pre absolute perfection, but yeah, whatever. I think everything has been relatively well explained for the main deck, even though I didn't explain anything. <laughs> Anyways, for the extra deck, Omega, when you're skillful at the game and you resolve Gamma on your own turn, Zoo, Sky Cavalry, Centauria, Triple Ominous Omen, Access Code, Appaloosa, Doom Eagle, Rugal, the Silver Sheller. Now, this is not the most powerful card out there, but sometimes its effect can kind of allow you to maintain an interruption. For example, let's just say you were able to end on Rugal with Revolt, which is a one-card combo anyways. It's like Fractail plus any card that you can put back on the bottom of your deck. If your opponent goes like Twin Twister on standby or whatever on your Revolt, you can chain with the revolt summon the omen and usually if you wouldn't have rugal on the field then that would be it you know your ominous omen yeah sure it banishes on the field uh, on summon you know your opponent didn't have anything when he twister twin twistered you if you want to keep your interruption live what you do is just when your opponent does something that you want to interrupt uh, him on you just use the effect of rugal summon back something and that would trigger the effect of uh, ominous omen because it's not just on the summon of ominous omen it's also when a beast beast or wing beast has special summoned pretty neat uh, thing that you have to remember here anyways to bear bloom but yeah it also has a really adorable effect where you can discard two cards and then revive back one of your banished level 4 bbw but who cares nobody ever uses that effect it's so expensive banish discard two cards like seriously no but yeah one fair jet one uh double schwangalong double dragon lords brah and one el mirage okay yeah and for the side deck of course we have one pancratops triple let's very similar to a uh, oh, virtual world deck uh virtual world side deck uh very yeah so one pancratops of i feel like every single side deck should have Pancratops. Triple Lancia, same thing. I mean, the card is really good. And when you side this in, in mirror matches with like cross out designator and stuff, you get not only get even more coverage, but also one really cool thing that I wanted to say with cross out is that in mirror matches, this card can even negate like revolt, which is absolutely nasty. It can negate freaking rescue cat desires. It can even negate cross out, which is kind of hilarious. But yeah, unfortunately it is once per turn, but who cares? Uh, Duster with how many cosmics? One double twin twister. Mystic mind, which is also a card that you can out with cross out designator. So nothing forces you to necessarily draw into you know a uh, back removal so i want to say mystic mind definitely got worse with the introduction of cross out designator and after that we have of course our double anti-spell imperial order red reboot double judgment because this card can uh, not only negate your opponent's cards but also your own summons so basically when you're under mystic mind you can't really do much but you can still link off your monsters and then you're going to be negating your summon during the end phase mystic mind would die and then next turn you would win because decks that play mystic mind are usually garbage because Mystic Mine is garbage. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this Tri Brigade combo video and deck profile. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to Steven's channel, The Goat. And that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in probably a few months. Peace.